So this is the portion of the application that you need to fill out and I filled in certain things for you already. So for example, um, I have filled in question one for you. You're going to need to fill one of these out for each badge that you want to offer. And um, so you want to do question two, you'll see I've highlighted all the questions you need. Uh, so for each badge, you're going to write, basically you're going to save this file, like if you want five badges, you're going to save this file five times. You're going to put the name of each of the badges right there. I've got question three done for you. I've got question four done for you. If there are any additional faculty or staff that you're collaborating with, um, add it to number five. If not, just write NA for not applicable. For question six, um, basically it asks how many hours is represented. So if it's two hours, if it's a two hour session, put two hours. If it's a five hour session, put five hours. If you, for the badge that you've got that you're planning where you're looking at having the people getting a badge if they attend say 12 of the 15 sessions, uh, you want to say that uh, for question six, um, that there are 15 one-hour sessions of which um, faculty and staff must attend 12 hours of. Uh, question seven, how is it going to be offered? Um, so are you having a face-to-face -face option? Is it going to be fully online? So Zoom, um, synchronous or asynchronous hybrid. Uh, so that should just be a one or two word answer here. Um, here, briefly describe the badge. Basically what you're looking for is two or three sentences uh, of what the badge is going to be about, like what they're going to have to do to, to uh, you know, what is going to, the badge is going to focus upon. So the kind of thing that it would likely look like is basically what that question is getting at is what is going to be in this description here. So you can see here's one from the Department of Online Ed. There's this fairly standard. It's basically they've completed this module on adhering to the rubric, uh, yada, yada. Another example is here's the one from the library with the OER faculty fellows. So you can see they've got two sentences there that they're using. Um, here's the two com one. So you can see theirs is a little bit more developed. You've got basically, um, by the looks of it, it's three sentences. Um, but this is sort of the length that I would aim for, somewhere between, say, this and this. Um, but this is what is going to be in that question. It's going to be essentially what you're going to find, um, what I'm eventually going to add into the badge description. That is what you would find for question eight. So it's going to be two or three sentences that basically just says, you know, what is this badge about? Um, it's, you know, a bad, it was based on a workshop that was delivered by X on the topic of Y that was three hours in length and held on this date. Um, you've seen, I've got number nine completed for you already. Uh, number 10, basically just put down one or two learning outcomes or goals. So essentially, this is what you hope the person gets by attending that particular session. Um, question 11, I've already done for you. Um, although for the one, that's based on all of the one-off badges. So you can see faculty and staff will be awarded the badge based on attendance at the faculty development session. So for the ones where I go to the AI session in September, I get a badge. That's okay for that. For the one that you want for the other one, um, it's going to be more along the lines of faculty, develop, faculty and staff will be awarded the badge based on attendance at of the... So faculty and staff will be awarded the badge based on attendance at 12 of the 15 general faculty development sessions offered during the fall 2023 term. And, you know, so you just fill in. So whichever one of these you're doing, so if this is the general one, delete this. If it's for one of the specific ones you're doing, delete this line. 
Um, so only keep one of those in there. You can see I've already done question 12 for you. I've done question 13 for you, done 14, done 15, uh, 16 you skip, and then you just need to put your signature there and the date, and then whoever is in overseas um, your work at Kettle, I'm assuming it's Patty, uh, but I'm not 100% sure, um, get her to sign there and date there. And then that's all we need for those things. So basically it's those one, two, three, four, five, six questions that I need you to add in. And then obviously you want to adjust question 11. So I'll do that in blue. Uh, so that way you'll note it when it comes in. Um, you want to adjust that one based upon which of the types of badges you're doing. And that's really all you need to do. So send a draft to me. I'll go through, look at it, and uh, you know I might make some revisions and send back to you. If not, I will send it along to both the committee and Rabbi Kripka who need to approve uh, all of these things before they go on to the website. So hopefully that's useful to you.